Our dog Gino had a heart attack the other day. Look, he's a good boy, and he's the one with the uh, the heart issue that I told you about. And I actually came home work from from work early today because I just wanted to be with the dogs, and I wanted to sit on the front porch swing and pet them because I love them so much. And I want to tell you about Gino here. When he was a puppy, you might have seen him in the other videos. He's two years old. He's a party Yorkie, and he's fantastic he's so intelligent and playful but he was born with like four separate heart issues uh, you know a murmur in the heart where the valves don't close all the way I'm not a heart doctor but we did take him to MSU and the cardiologist and several appointments so they were gonna euthanize this dog and put him down when he was just a baby a puppy because the breeders felt like they couldn't sell him because he wasn't gonna live anyways so the day before they were going to euthanize him my wife had found out about it and she intervened and I came home from work and there was Gino in a playpen um, getting used to the other dogs and I thought we were just gonna watch him for a little bit and find a home for him and she was she literally saved his life well we let him out of the playpen he's ch chasing our other dogs and cats around the house and barking and um, he seemed fine and I was like wow this dog has a heart problem this is crazy so we take him to the heart doctor and he does and um, the, the heart doctor said that he can live a normal life, a, a semi-normal life, mostly normal life, but we can't take him on extraneous runs in the heat and like, he can't do extraneous exercise correctly, if you hear me correct. And so I have this habit of taking the laser beam, I call it, see this, he's crazy. I call it the M They're not going to stop barking. So, the other night... I'm trying to make a video about dogs and the dogs are barking. So the other night I run the laser beam all the way down the backyard. And back like and He takes off running full speed and comes back a couple weeks ago. And he comes back and runs in the house. And he starts getting woozy and dizzy. And I pick him up real quick and he's weak. I'm like, oh my god, his heart. So that would be an example of extraneous exercise. I thought it was like for, you know, an hour straight of running, but no, this is sprinting specifically that his heart can't handle it. I'm learning or supposing, you know, and I was like, oh my God, I can't play with the laser beam with him anymore at that level or whatever. So, uh, so just last over the weekend, there was a, a squirrel outside in the backyard I didn't know that he was back there but the dogs were going nuts barking at the back door looking out the window and so just like I'm very playful with the dogs I open the door and I let him run Gino runs off like a bat out of hell chasing this squirrel through the backyard and the squirrel was jumping around he was right on the squirrel I, I sound like a horrible person smiling about this but um he the squirrel obviously got away. Like, I don't want him to actually catch the squirrel. The squirrel jumps over the fence. Gino comes back to me. And then he's woozy again. And he collapses. And I pick him up real quick. And I'm petting him and holding him. And his whole body went limp in my arms. And he just started peeing down my arm. I'm talking like his heart stopped. And he went unconscious. And I'm, I'm trying not to get sad here. Because I instantly started... You know, banging on his chest, praying to the Holy Spirit. I was ready. I was... Sorry, there's some really loud trucks going by. Uh, there, I was instantly, you know, like CPR on his chest. And within seconds, he came right back. And uh, he, he was weak. And I brought him in the house. And I closed all the blinds and all the shades. And I got real calm with him. And he was panting and out of breath. And I realized that his heart couldn't handle it. So needless to say, I was scared. And uh, I, I have not played with him since in the form of running around the backyard, no laser beam, no go get the squirrel, go get the squirrel, none of that stuff. And we've, we're, we've been calling MSU, uh, the, the cardiologist that trying to get a hold of them to get him in for an expensive doctor's appointment because I want to know, I mean, I've come home from work early, I just want to be with my dog. And you start having those thoughts like, what if, what if, what if? Uh, 
I love him so much. And sometimes when he's playing really hard and running around the house, which I really can't stop him from doing that, he'll start to like wobble a little. And I'm like, oh my God, it's his heart giving out. So with these heart issues, when the heart's pumping, the cha chambers aren't closing properly. That's more of a swish, swish, swish. So it's imagine you got a pump, but every time you pump, it's not a good solid pump. It's like a weak pump. Imagine you ever have like a spray of Windex bottle, but like the pump sucks. And you're trying to instead of pss, 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 it's just going it's just like kind of like pissing out you know it's it's not getting good suction and vacuum I think I'm pretty sure that's how his heart is so the blood is backing up and sometimes he coughs Yorkie's cough I think he might get fluid in his lungs but I don't think so we would know and we have another dog Miko who is a, um, a disabled special needs dog but and me, I notice that Gino is always breathing harder and faster than the other dogs when he's playing. When he sleeps, he's fine, but his heart just cannot take the extraneous sprinting type exercise. So uh, I take it very serious. I love him very much, and I, I love this dog. Bye. Nice to see you. Um, my wife has company over. My wife. Uh, has a social media marketing agency and she does work for a nonprofit agency that helps veterans and like her dream is to open an animal rescue. She does all these beautiful things. But anyways, I just want to say that uh, it's a, it's a, a reckoning or, or a, 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 a new level of awareness that when you hear that a, a, an animal especially or anybody or, is disabled or something's going on sometimes you can't see it with your eyes on the outside that there's an issue so you might not believe it at the extent you could until something bad happens and then you believe it and that was kind of the serious talk my wife and I had she's like asking me why don't you believe this stuff Keith until something bad happens is that when you finally believe it and I was like no no you're absolutely right but you know the doctor had said uh, he can live a normal life just as long as he's not doing extraneous running, you know. Uh, and so now I understand that extraneous can be qualified or quantified all the way down to that of just a sprint. If the dog, just think about you, if you take off jogging, okay, how strenuous is that? What if you take off sprinting full speed? When's the last time you did that? Because I know me, I'm 39. If I took off sprinting full speed, which I do from time to time, um, I mean, your legs are sore, you can pull muscles, you're out of breath, you're gasping for air because you don't normally do that. Now imagine having a weak heart and doing that. Not good. Okay, I'm talking way too much. Gino, come here with Daddy. Come here. The whole time I'm making a video about you. There he is. He's a good boy.